I'm Alicia D'Souza, I'm a fifth year PhD candidate and I work with Professor Brian Pogue. My research involves using optical imaging and tomography methods uh, to quantify the concentration of fluorescent molecules in tissues and we use this to estimate tumor burden in lymph nodes um, which allows us to non-invasively stage a cancer. A lot of my work has involved uh, visualization techniques and experimental methods where we develop models for uh, cancer in animals. When I'm running experiments, what I usually do is we have animals or phantoms, which are basically tissue simulations. And what we do is we either embed some fluorophores uh, inside them, or if we're using animals, we inject a fluorescent dye at an injection site and have it get taken up by the lymphatic system and uh, drained to a lymph node. I then use the video sequence that I've acquired from these animals, process that and then extract as much information as possible from it to get some quantitative estimates of the presence of cancer in the lymph nodes. In a lot of major cancer types such as breast cancer, skin cancers and head and neck cancers, uh, typically what happens is the cancer spreads by migrating through the lymphatic system of the body. They move through the lymphatic system and then get trapped in tissue bodies which are lymph nodes. What is typically done in the clinic during the treatment of cancer patients is they locate the lymph nodes of interest and uh, surgically resect them. They take them out and then send them over for pathological testing. This takes time, it takes a few days sometimes and it also means that the patient had to go through surgery and had to get some tissue removed. So what we're trying to do in our research is estimate whether or not a lymph node has cancer without having the patients go through surgery. What it would do is help prevent the spread of cancer at an earlier stage than is uh, currently being done um, and improve the quality of life, the overall quality of life of cancer patients.